My lord's it's a pl- No, Ridley. No, he's a different side from me. <laughs> Ridley. I'm most grateful. Um, my lords, it's a great pleasure to follow the noble Lord uh, Billimoria uh, as I did in the second reading and to answer some of his points. Uh, the, the noble Lord Lord Newby didn't like it when I uh, quoted uh, <coughs> the words of his current leader to him for some reason. Uh, but, uh, so, and he said I should quote the, the words of uh, my own party. So I'm delighted to quote the words of the noble... Uh, not the, could I um, uh, remind the noble uh, Viscount Lord Ridley of the words of Jacob Rees-Mogg, who has said, indeed, we could have two referendums. As it happens, it might make more sense to have the second referendum after the renegotiation is complete. And the Brexit Secretary, David Davis, referendums should be held when the electorate are in the best possible position to make a judgment. They should be held when people can view all the arguments for and against, and when those arguments have been rigorously tested. Referendums should be held when the people know exactly what they are getting. I was going to uh, quote the uh, words of David Cameron, uh, in all, because I was asked, indeed, for the, to, for the words of, of a Conservative. And what he said on the 10th of November 2015, after announcing the referendum, was, it will be your decision. Nobody else's, not politicians, not parliaments, not lobby groups, not mine, just you. You, the British people, will decide, and it will be the final decision. So to those who suggest that a decision in the referendum to leave would merely produce another stronger renegotiation and then a second referendum in which Britain would stay, I say think again. There will not be another renegotiation and another referendum. Think very carefully because this choice cannot be undone. My noble friend really must face the possibility that Parliament will take a different view, and in which case the government will do what Parliament says, or we are not in a parliamentary democracy. I was under the impression that is exactly what we're debating in Parliament right now, right here, and it's what the the, the other place debated uh, fully and came to a very different decision from the one that possibly we're going to come to here. finish his sentence. 